Good afternoon, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talks. So, I wanted to shoot this video up today. Um, I'm basically showing off my Hot Wheel collection. I've been collecting for a really, really long time. As you can see, this is only a fourth of what I have. Um, I have a ton of them. Um, this is right here is the first 230 of them, or I should say the third box of, of 200. This is 230 in this box. Each box is a little different. Um, but we're going to kind of go through them. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I've been collecting. Some of these are as old as the 90s, and you won't see a collection probably this big uh, around. At one point, I was up to 10,000 of them. Um, I'm a little bit OCD. I collect a lot of different stuff, everything from coins, um, silver, gold, Avon, um, comic books, baseball cards, football, basketball, any kind of sports cards, um, garbage pail kids, you name it, I've collected it at one point or another. And I kind of wanted to show off what I have. Um, I am looking at getting rid of this collection. I have someone that is interested in it. And so I kind of want to show it off. Now, hopefully the deal will go through. It may not. We'll see what happens. Um, there is some logistics in shipping this many Hot Wheels cars. Um, plus, this ain't even part of it. Uh, the first part of this video I actually shot a while back when I was originally uh, showing it off. And that's what kind of sparked interest in it. And then I wanted to do a second video of the second half of what I have uh, in detail. So enjoy the video, guys. I know this ain't uh, my normal finance video. However, uh, I am shifting around some of my assets and shifting out some of my collectible stuff. Whether that's a right decision or a wrong decision, who knows? Um, but we'll take a look. Uh, it's pretty cool to see. Uh, if you have any kids, they're going to love this video. They're going to be like, oh, my word. So it, it is. Uh, this is the kid in me. Um, so let's take a look through them and I'll show you guys what I got.
So that is the first 230 box. I'm going to end up picking this box all up and then I am going to reshift it and put the next box out so you guys can kind of see the whole second half of the collection. At the very end of the video, um, I will have the treasure hunts also. So that's what a lot of people like is the treasure hunts. That's the highly sought after. There's like one to every four cases um, that they make. So there's a huge low number, low mintage, I guess you could call it, um, to those. So I'll show you guys at them at the end. As you can see, this is how I do package them up uh, for storage um, to keep the best basically the best condition you don't want them getting bent if you can keep your cardboard from getting bent especially on some of the rarer ones um, you continue to maintain a huge value on them um, as you can see that's how I store them so I kind of just look in there make sure don't try to cram them in if you're packaging them you know like sometimes people will try to get that like one extra one and then they'll bend the top down a little bit don't do that if you do collect them um, you want to keep them in the best shape you can so this will maintain them and then I'll put another row right over the top in the opposite direction kind of like this that way that keeps them all flat and preserved nicely so you can see there just like that so that way I don't have folding or any kind of warping and even the package you want to keep them so finding a car like this that's 20 years or more older still in the cardboard um, unopened a lot of kid these got opened so it kind of ruined the it made it to it there's a lot of less of them in new in packaging so with that being said uh let's move on to the second part of the video This box right here has even more in it um, than the first box. This was one of my older boxes, as you can tell by looking at some of the cars, if you know your cars, or you can tell by looking at the labels. Um, a lot of them will say, um, let's see if we can kind of zoom in on one, a 76 first edition, um, 78 first edition, 76 first edition. So. I'm sorry, 86, uh, 96. I'm sorry, I said 76. <laughs> They're not 50 years old. Um, but you can tell by looking at that that there is a lot of older ones. Um, we're going to go through and we'll take a look at all these too. So let's start looking, see what we got. This really cool one right here. I like this one. Oscar Mayer wiener truck. There's a couple of them in here. It's the second or third one I've seen, but there are some duplicates, uh, especially if it's a rare, like something that was rare. That was super popular because every kid back then remembers the Oscar Mayer wiener truck. Um, so it was pretty popular. Every once in a while you do see some yellowing. It has something to do with the plastic of the car. Um, it's kind of strange to me because I've noticed the same car yellows in every, so like, take a look at this. I don't understand really why that is. So see how the plastic yellowed in that one? There's a duplicate of it here because it was kind of a rare car. But look how the plastic yellows. Only on certain cars though. Someone said it has something to do with the paint that was used when they made them. I've heard a lot of different stories. Um, if you guys know, uh, have any details on that, let me know.
These ones right here, a lot of these got opened up. Anything that had the sticker on there, all kids wanted to open that up so they could have the car virtually too. Um, it was kind of a, an interesting thing. If you were lucky, um, you could win prizes and stuff. And so those got opened up just so kids could scratch that off. Another couple right there. Got milk. So that is 300 cars right there. I had to pause the camera to actually count them. Uh, pretty cool. A lot of cars there. Um, pretty awesome. So 
leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this collection. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not the normal uh, finance video where we talk about gold, silver, the economy, that type of stuff. However, this was something that played a... Kind of it took a lot of my money um, over the years um, collecting them and now I'm just kind of more into targeting um, stuff, basically individual investments and right now some of y'all know what I'm targeting the most. Uh, right now I believe silver and gold are going to have the biggest gains, especially with everything going on, but I won't get too much into finance in this video, so I'm not going to get rambling on, but... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit a thumbs up if you made it to the end. Um, if you did make it to the end, put two periods. I'm curious how many people actually watched this to the very end. So thanks for watching, guys, and hope to see you guys again at the end of at another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.